Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we are doing a girlfriend video which will be for Iso to figure out what type of girlfriend she will be. I know that she's like very young and stuff so this is hopefully very much into the future or whenever she's ready or whenever she feels like, it, like dating or something. But let's jump into it. <laughs> this was like randomized and she was the one that came out so yeah. So the general energy for Lisa's reading is the octopus, meaning that she is a very hard working, she's doing a bunch of things at once, this is a water element, so that means that she is very intuitive, she goes with her emotions, she tends to think a lot because all the colors in this octopus are on the head or on the brain, so I assume that this will show how she's constantly thinking of something, constantly feeling stuff, and also her emotions are a big influence to how she thinks and how she views the world. But also with this octopus, it kind of shows that she's able to handle a bunch of things at once, she's very good at balancing things, so I feel that when she gets in a relationship, she will be very good at balancing that side of her life with her career, with herself, and any other like things that she has to do, like let's say she has some healing to do or some responsibilities to do, she's very good at balancing all of those things. So this octopus energy kind of shows that she will be the type of girlfriend that is pretty well balanced and someone that is probably constantly busy and constantly doing something. So there's a lot of responsibilities that follow her and she is juggling everything at once. So the other card that we have right here is Desire. So with this card, we have the earth element showing that she is someone that is very grounded. She is someone that I guess her love language will be touch because of the earth element. Usually the usually earth signs are considered to be more physical. So hugs, uh, holding hands, anything that is, I guess, physically tangible are usually the ways that earth signs show their affection and their love. So in this case, it shows that she is someone that is very feminine because we have water here and we have earth here. And also in this card, we have cancer energy. So that's more water, more water signs, I guess you could say, meaning that she is someone that is very emotional, very sensitive, very intuitive. And also this kind of shows that she's very practical and grounded, but at the same time, she does follow her heart a lot. and. It kind of shows that she will be the type of partner that really enjoys being cozy and at home because of that cancer energy. Now the other card that we have right here is divination with Scorpio energy, another water sign, and this is a fire element. So this kind of shows that she is someone that is very passionate, but in this case I don't think it necessarily shows passion in just like love. I do feel that she's a very driven, very motivated, and she gets uh, very easily inspired to do things and motivated to get things done and I do feel that it could be this, this divination card could show that she's pretty pretty intuitive meaning that in this case she's very good at reading people and kind of feeling the air or the environment she's very good at understanding and picking up cues on how people are feeling and again understanding people's feelings so I do feel that she will just be that type of partner that is very energetic, is very happy, usually pretty optimistic, and very understanding of other people's situations and of the environment that she's immediately surrounded by. So this fire energy kind of shows that she is just uh, pretty spontaneous and sincere as well. And with the Scorpio energy, it kind of shows that she is highly, highly intuitive. Now, the cards that we have here, they kind of came in a bunch, so I kind of just took them all. We have Purification, an air element with Gemini. Then we have Victory, another air element with Aries energy. And then we have Productivity with Earth energy and another Cancer sign. So this kind of shows that she is 
very successful. <laughs> so I do feel that she will be very successful in her career and also very, very successful in her relationships. With this purification, this kind of feels like she is someone that takes her inner healing very seriously and also making sure that she doesn't have a cluttered environment or she is very practical with the things that she needs and therefore she doesn't keep anything that doesn't that is not necessary for her if it carries sentimental value she'll keep it if it carries any practical value she'll also keep it so her immediate so her surroundings are not cluttered with unnecessary things also with this purification card it kind of shows that she is very outgoing and friendly and likes to talk to other people however the there's like this this energy of decluttering right so i don't think she keeps anyone too close if she feels like they don't fit in her life or if she feels like these people are just gonna weight her down energetically so she doesn't really entertain anyone that she doesn't actually enjoy being with now with this victory card and this aries energy she is a type of person that whenever she's motivated to do something or inspired to take on a new journey or a new experience she just goes for it so i do feel that this translates into her relationships as well she might be the first one to make the first move or she will be the initiator of a lot of nets uh, a lot of like of the progression of her relationships like she's the one that instead of waiting for things to happen she just kind of goes for what she dreams for and what she wants and in relationships it will be the same thing right this aries energy talks about someone that could be impatient someone that's very impulsive so she will definitely communicate very well with her partners and she will do a very good job at expressing what she really wants out of life and she has a very fast-paced energy especially since these cards are on top of the knights which could be because she's young right now or that could just be her personality honestly now the other card that we have right here is productivity with the pumpkin so i do feel that in this case she is someone that puts a lot of energy in creating a comfortable home environment because we have the cancer energy and also she works very hard at again this sisters made me think that she just gets rid of anything that doesn't work in her life she doesn't entertain anything that bothers her or anything that she doesn't like so if there's someone that she does want as a partner she will definitely go for them and she's not going to hold back because if she didn't really want them she wouldn't even entertain the idea or even give a time of day to these people whoever it is that she's that she wants in her life also with this productivity card it kind of made me think of the octopus energy that we got previously which kind of shows that she is someone that is constantly doing things is constantly working filling up her planner and her agenda with jobs activities and that includes uh, again cleaning her environment i think this is very important uh, she understands that as a very busy person she cannot have anything surrounding her that weights her down because it will just slow her down and i do feel that uh, she's very aware of this because she has this internal fire or this desire to always do something and get things done and and it seems like she doesn't really have patience for things to kind of pan out or i think this is a very earthy energy of someone that has a plan they have a goal and they just work towards it and they're very practical so that so they are very aware of the things that are necessary to achieve their goal and they're so laser focused on what it is that they want that they kind of just push everything else out of the way because they don't have time for it so i do feel like that's kind of like the general energy that liso has in her life and that will definitely trickle down into her relationships as well now we have the two of wands if we look at the tarot which kind of shows that she is someone that is she's a dreamer right in the sense of she looks at what she has she is confident in her skills confident in her abilities and also very confident with her manifestation skills because the two of wands usually shows someone that is holding onto the world and is kind of like having the world at their fingertips right uh, which is supposed to be a saying of someone that feels like they have it all and they can do anything so this kind of translates to her as having the confidence that things will pan out in her favor again she has uh, victory productivity and this octopus card which shows that she's very hard wo working but she also trusts that fate and destiny and everything is going to help her out achieve her goals so this two of wands kind of shows that she is very confident in her skills very confident in her path and also very confident in whatever her goals and dreams are so she just goes for it she just takes action she's constantly thinking of what's the next thing that she's going to do and seeing how this card is underneath the desire card it kind of shows that whatever she feels in her heart 
that she wants to do she just goes for it she doesn't doubt herself at all she doesn't have to second guess herself she just goes for it now the other card that we have right here is the six of cups reverse which kind of shows that in her relationships she doesn't have much baggage and there is a high chance that she will like whoever she leaves in the past it's over she she's not the again when she cuts something or someone out of her life she like it's over he's not bringing that peop that energy back ever so if she ever rejects someone or if she ever ends off a relationship with someone it's for good reason and she will probably not be like wishy-washy with people uh, whatever's in the past is in the past and she kind of like you know puts it in just like ends the cycle and throws it out out the back like she doesn't revisit energies she I guess energies that she already rejected or energies she already threw away. So in this case, in relationships, this kind of shows that if there was ever an issue with a partner, the moment it gets solved, it's solved. She's not going to bring it up. She's not going to, I guess, like rub it on their face that they made a mistake or something or that something was not right in the relationship. And also, if she ever encounters someone that was not good for her or something, she will, you know, her no is a hard no. She doesn't like backpedal at all in her relationships. Now the last card that we have right here is the Knight of Swords upright and the Knight of Wands reversed. So here we have Gemini and Sagittarius energy which are opposing signs in astrology or sister signs however you want to call it. Meaning that there is this common ground that she has with her relationships, right? She is someone that likes adventure and she likes to travel but it's not necessarily like going outside of the country she's very happy with going to the park or having dates near her house so she enjoys being close to home she doesn't like to it's not necessarily lack of confidence but it's like does not she doesn't really desire to go out of the country and have a date or visit other countries as a date like that's not like if that happens it happens but she prefers to have dates or go out with people with places that are familiar to her or places that are close to her home. She seems to like the adventure of getting to know her neighborhood more and her surroundings even better. Now, these two cards kind of show that she is very impulsive, can even be a bit reckless, so if she ever has a goal in mind, again, she just goes for it. She doesn't think about it twice, she just runs for it. She doesn't even ask herself, do I really want this? No, she just, she just goes like, oh, if I want it, I'll, I'll just take it. <laughs> I'll just go for it. Also, this Knight of Wands kind of shows that she is very good at communicating her thoughts. She's very good at expressing what she's thinking and expressing her feelings. Like she's very good at communicating that to her partners. So I do feel that she will have a lot of conversations with whoever she's with. She may be very talkative or she will end up with someone that is very talkative. And if not, a very good listener. Someone that can definitely listen to, how, to all the things that she has to say. Now, with this Knight of Wands reverse, I do feel that even though I mentioned that she is someone that likes to take action, well, not necessarily take action, but she goes for her desires. I want you to keep in mind that one of the things that she does most is think. She's constantly thinking, you know, what's the next thing that she's going to do, how she's going to go about it, and how it fits in her life. Now, she's not necessarily one that jumps into taking action, right? It may feel like that, but it's all within her head. I mean, in the octopus, the lights or the color is on the brain, and here we had a lot of air energy and there's some earth and water so she is constantly thinking about things and how she wants to go about it she plans her actions before doing them but she is not necessarily someone that will actually just jump and get something done right take action and the initiative of something but she's constantly thinking of new beginnings new projects new actions that have to be taken new goals new ideas so she's constantly moving and constantly thinking and planning but when it comes to actions maybe she holds herself a bit a bit so like that she's not reckless so i do feel that that could be the practical side of her that is like i want to take action and do something but i shouldn't be cautious and actually plan things out so i do feel that this knight of wands could be the reason why it's reversed and that kind of shows that yeah maybe there could be if she ever finds someone in her life that she would like to have a relationship with romantically then she will definitely go for it but i do feel that she will 
not be reckless about it she will definitely think is this a person that i really want is this a person that will say yes is this a person that is worth the risk is this a per you know the risk of rejection like i do feel that she actually thinks about these things like i know that i mentioned uh, the type of energy that could be very reckless but she's not actually that reckless it may feel like that because she's thinking of like a gazillion things at once but she is actually a bit more cautious when she actually puts those ideas into action but anyway i hope you guys like this reading i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you on the next one whenever that is however that is love and healing from my part to you and see you on the next one bye